Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In today's class, we want to look at how to solve these indices. 243 raised to power n over 5 times 3 raised to power 2n plus 1 all over 9 raised to power n times 3 raised to power n minus 1. So we want to look at how to solve this question in an easiest way. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Please subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified whenever I post new video on mathematics and statistics. Solution. The question says 243 raised to power n over 5 multiplied by 3 raised to power 2n plus 1 all over 9 raised to power n multiplied by 3 raised to power n minus 1. Then 2 raised 243 can be expressed as 3 raised to power 5 into this n, n over 5, then multiply by 3 raised to power 2n plus 1 over, we have 9 raised to power n can be expressed as 3 raised to power 2 into n multiplied by 3 raised to power n minus 1 because 3 raised to power 2 is 3 square which is equal to 9 3 times 3 is 9 then 3 raised to power 5 is 3 in 5 places if you multiply it together if you multiply them together you are going to get 243 now let's move to the next step this can be expressed as this implies that we have let's open this bracket 3 raised to power 5 times n 5 n over 5 then multiply by 3 raised to power 2 n plus 1 over then we have let's open this bracket 2 times n that is 3 raised to power 2 n multiply by 3 raised to power n minus 1 5. Then from here, this 5 can cancel this 5. Then, since this 5 can cancel this 5, we are left with this implied that we have 3 raised to power n multiplied by 3 raised to power 2n plus 1 over 3 raised to power 2n multiplied by 3 raised to power n minus 1. This can be write as 3 raised to power n, but when you multiply, you can add up the power plus 2n plus 1, since they are having the same base, over here is 3 raised to power 2n, then the same thing, plus this is n minus 1. Can you see? We have 3 raised to power n multiplied by 3 raised to power 2n plus 1. But they have the same power, the same bigs. We have 3 raised to power n. Then, because of multiplication, then we have the addition. According to the law of this, this is then 2n plus 1. The same thing applied it to the denominator. We have 2 raised to power n plus this n minus 1. Now, this can be expressed as n plus 2n. 3n. You have 3 raised to power 3n plus 1 over this 2n plus n is the same thing as 3n. 3 raised to power 3n minus 1. Now, let's perform another expression here. This is equal to 3 raised to power 3n plus 1 then minus into, here is 3 n minus 1. Then from here now, let's open let's open this bracket. We have this can be write as 3 raised to power 3 n plus 1. This 3 n plus 1. Then minus multiply by 3 n. We have minus 3 n minus times minus is become plus plus 1. Then here, this is plus 3n minus 3n. This one will cancel digs. 
then we are left with plus one and plus one then our final answer is going to be you know here we have three raised to power 3n plus 1 minus 3n plus 1 and this 3n we cancel this 3n that is plus 3n minus 3n is equal to what zero it will cancel then we have 1 plus 1 so which is equal to this two then we are left with 3 raised to power 2 then our final answer is going to be what 3 raised to power 2 is still the same thing as 3 times 3 let's say from here we have 3 squared the same thing as 3 times 3 which is called to 9 our final answer is going to be 3 raised to power 2 which is called to what 9 i hope you understand it so this is the final answer please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe for more new video on mathematics and statistics thank you